everybody! Today we're going to be feeding some of the new snakes we just acquired in 2020. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. As you all know, we are building a reptile store and zoo. We're working there almost non-stop and we're making great progress, but it feels like we have an overwhelming amount still to do. I may have started going a little nuts. Why won't you come out? Ah! So I started listening to the audiobook Make Time. This surprisingly entertaining audiobook teaches you how to focus on what's important and to enjoy the present moment more. Now I'm finding myself having more fun again at the facility. Maybe a little too much fun. She's running with a very sharp knife. <laughs> <laughs> or they throw stuff at you. Audible can help you with your New Year's resolution too. If it's to work out more, they have fitness routines. If it's learning how to meditate, they have meditation guides. And with their newest plan, Audible Plus, you're able to download and stream as many as you'd like. Just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text snake discovery to 500, 500 to get a 30 day free trial of Audible Plus. They have features like audiobook sharing, speed control, and chapter navigation. Oh, dang it, I missed the best part. I'll just go to chapter two. There we go. Again, just go to audible.com slash snake discovery Discovery or text Snake Discovery to 500 500 to get a month of Audible Plus for free. Thanks again, Audible, for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's feed some reptiles. Let's start with Inky, our black headed python. She is growing up like a weed. She's doing really well for us. She can kind of be a picky eater, so let's see if she'll eat. Yeah, she's kind of huffy too, but you do love your food. There you go. Hey, finally, she took the mouse. Good job, Inky. Oh, nope, this isn't takeout. Nope, we're gonna eat it here. Eat it here, please. A cool fact about black-headed pythons is that they, along with woma pythons, which are very closely related to them, are the only two species of pythons that don't have any pit organs. So unlike other pythons, these cannot see the heat of their prey. Interestingly enough though, Inky here seems to prefer her prey really warm, so I think she is still able to feel the warmth of her prey, but she definitely takes a little while to get eating. So why are these pythons, the Womas and Blackheads, the only two that lack heat pits? That's because Womas and Blackheaded pythons eat a lot of reptiles in the wild, snakes and lizards, and you know, snakes and lizards are cold-blooded, so their heat signature is no different than their surroundings, so having pit organs wouldn't really help them in this case. She was a bit of a picky eater for the breeder, and so the breeder had to hang on to her for a little while before he sold her, and then the person who got her just wasn't able to keep her long term, so we actually got her off of Craigslist, along with our green anaconda. But yeah, she and our green anaconda are doing really well over here. Inky here is, she kind of flails around, she huffs and puffs, so she's got a bit of an attitude, but that's all right. She's still going to make an amazing display animal at our facility. And they get quite large too, they grow up to around nine feet long. All right, good job, Inky, you ate your mouse. That's the first time she's eaten on camera. No, she ate one other time on camera. Oh, did she? Yeah, we oh. did a feeding anaconda and her. Oh, that's yeah, right. Canada. All right. Well, second time eating on camera. First time eating out of her bin. That's true. Yeah. All right, girl, let's put you back and feed our next 2019 acquisition. The rest of the animals we're going to feed today actually prefer to eat in their bins and they don't eat on the counter. And we tried feeding Sorfang, our gray banded king snake, just earlier, and he refused to eat even in his bin. So I wanted to feed him for you guys, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. So instead, let's feed Mad Noi Moody. Moody, where are you? Are you way in the back? Of course he is. Oh, of course. Yep, he's not under his water dish, chilling with the isopods. Oh, he's in his cave. He does love his cave. He finds it no problem, surprisingly. Hey, hey buddy. Hey. We use the clicker so it kind of helps associate him with when there's food nearby. Because they can hear. Here, you want this? You want this? It's tasty. I also have to like touch his lips a little bit to stimulate or to... Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice job! That was a good strike and wrap! Nice job, buddy! But yeah, he will not eat on the counter. We have tried, so that's why we're feeding him in here instead. Each snake is a little bit different. Magnoid Moody was actually born with no eyes, which is why we use this clicker to help him associate when there's food nearby, because they can still hear, and we believe he can too. But he was sold at a reptile expo, where the person who bought him brought up the fact that he has no eyes to the seller, and the seller didn't know that he was lacking eyes, surprisingly enough. So she bought him, uh, I believe for a discount, 
And she wasn't able to keep him long term though because she was having troubles getting him to eat. And she had to go, I believe, to college out of town. So she asked if we could take him and try to get him eating and growing again. And we took him in and he it did take a little bit of time, but he started eating very well for us, probably after a couple of months. And then he started eating so well that he started associating our hands with food. So we started using the clicker to teach him to associate that sound to when there's food nearby rather than just when anything is nearby that's food. And that seems to have helped. All right, good job, Moody, you ate for us. There's a little bit of dirt that's stuck to the mouse, but it's no big deal, that won't harm him at all. Oh, nice, thank you for showing that off to the camera for us. Okay, let's try feeding one of our new king snakes we got this year. This is Curly Fry, our Brooks king snake we picked up on our way back from Texas, and I think we're probably gonna keep him because he's just so pretty, and he has a name now. You'll see why he's called Curly Fry when he strikes his food. Hey, buddy, oh, you're way back there. Can you come up here for us? Hi. Oh, you're in shed. Oh, well, maybe he won't eat. Well, we'll see. He is a king snake after all. Buddy, here. We've got a hopper for you. It's so tasty. Do, do, do. You should eat this hopper. It's so tasty. Oh, no, you're just gonna strike at it. Oh, there we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Show off your name. Strike, strike. Come on, come on, curly fry. There we go. All right, that's a little bit of it anyway. He usually has like three or four coils around his food. We've only got two today. But yeah, that's why his name is Curly Fries. He looks just like one. And then it makes me crave Curly Fries every time I feed him. curly fry you took that down even while you were in shed so he's not as like brightly colored as he usually is because he's in blue right now but the pinks you see on the side are like red when he's not in shed it's really really pretty he's an amazing little snake so next let's end with another king snake this is aomer this is our mexican black king snake or our male that we got from our friend tamari hey buddy this is gonna be a small meal for you because this was actually intended for the kukri earlier on, but he didn't want to eat it. So I'm gonna give it to you instead. He's kind of our garbage disposal. Mmm, tasty. I know it's small, but you don't care. Good job! I like to flip his cave upside down, otherwise he drags it all around in his bedding. So this kind of helps keep his food separated. And then the aspen doesn't stick to the mouse. Here's a fun fact about Mexican black king snakes. They're actually not black in coloration. They're just a really, really dark chocolate brown. It's kind of hard to tell indoors, but when you get them outside in natural light, you can definitely see the brown coloration coming out of their scales. Well, and that's that. He uh, wasted no time eating his pinky. Here, do you want another? I have another spare. This was supposed to be for um, Sorfang, the uh, gray banded king, but he didn't want to eat either. Do you want another? And that'll count as your meal. Here, you want another? Yes, he says. You can eat another one. That's your dessert. <laughs> and I think that about wraps it up for today. So as always, we'd like to thank our amazing Patreon backers for your wonderful support. And thank you to everyone watching today. I hope you enjoyed us feeding some of our snakes we got in 2020. There were a couple of others that I wanted to feed today, but they just were not having it. So uh, those were not included in today's video, but thankfully everybody else ate for us. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.